On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob heads to Charleston, South Carolina for some inshore red fishing. Joining Bob will be longtime Charleston guide, Captain Mark Brown. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a South Carolina certified shrimp ceviche recipe. All this and a whole lot more, and it begins right now. We shot this hard. Oh, look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Nice. <laughs> right here in Ship Creek. Folks, welcome to our show this week. It's been a while since we've been down in Charleston, South Carolina. Ship Creek for that matter. The last time, oh man. The last time we were down here, you may have remembered that our guide and our captain today is Captain Mark Brown of the Teaser 2. Mark, man, I tell you what, Bo, although you're out of the big boat business, now you're in the to the good guide, boat business, yeah. inshore stuff. Yeah. yeah, man. It's a nice one there, Bob. Yeah, Put a bend on the rod now. Ah. He's gonna try. He's going around that pile. And yeah, so. let me let me get him. See if I can get him there back. You this go. way. You're doing good. There you're you doing go. good, Bob. <laughs> we got him, man. Oh man, listen, it nice has fish. been oh, nice yeah. redfish. Oh yeah. There you go. Woo! Pretty Look at that, folks. Mm. Right out of the hat box this morning. Gosh, we're down here fishing for bull reds today and redfish, and Mark has got me on one the first thing even before we leave. Hardly out of the marina here. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, come here, fella. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Nice job. Beautiful. Pretty fish. I'll tell you what. I'll let you get that save that hook out of there. Yeah. He's not hooking that at all. Hmm. Yeah, Pretty yeah. fish. Beautiful fish. Shim Creek redfish, folks. South Carolina's best. One of the nicest sport fishes there are, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. You Beautiful. did good, my friend. You ready yeah. to put him back? Yeah. Just set him right on All in there. All right. Here we go. Go on. There you go. For Beautiful. another day. Beautiful. Man. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Listen, let's, let's tell folks now what you're doing here, okay? Because, again, you were one of the premier, if not the only, offshore guy here out of Charleston, I mean for miles. Mm -hmm. And the Teaser 2 was a famed boat. We always enjoyed going out with you. But like all of us, we're getting older, man. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it just got to the point where, you know, I was fishing a lot of days, you know, and it, and it was uh, a lot of stress on me. The older I got, you know, the tougher it was. And I needed to scale back at something. I wanted to stay fishing, you know. I didn't want to get out of fishing but I really needed to do something that was a little bit easier on me and my body, you know. And so I decided to, to get into the inshore fishing business, you know, with there's a lot of people that are doing that here in Charleston. But, uh, you know, I've been doing it here too since the 80s, you know, on and off recreationally. And so uh, I enjoy that too. And it's still, I get to intermingle with the people, you know, that I've taken fishing before in the past and, uh, and new customers and stuff, you know, and it's, I really enjoy it. Well, you know, Mark, I tell you, you're just one of those professionals that we enjoy going with because, again, your knowledge, your years on the water, I mean, gosh, they just, you know, you guys are just a mainstay in the fishing business. But if folks want to come with you, okay, and I, I know uh, they're going to want to do that after they see this show because, again, you're such a great guy to be with. And that's one of the mainstays. When, go, when folks go to the Bob's Top 16 and they look for guides to go fishing with, they look for guys like you that they can spend all day on the boat with, mm -hmm. and you're just one of those consummate guys that we could do that. So tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Well, it used to be I had a website called charlestonfishing.net, and that's still around, and that, they'll recommend me and give uh, my number to you, but my phone number is 843-568-5966, or I've got a website too at uh, captainmarkbrown101 at gmail.com. That's good. And folks, listen, you can go to Bob's Top 16. Mark's going to be listed right there. Fish out of beautiful Charleston with that boat. We got to get another fish. All right, buddy. All right, let's do it. All right, fish on. Get him, Mark. Get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, you started profiling this morning. You want me to get the net? Yeah, sure. All right, hang on. Let me get this one down.
Another redfish. Oh, no, man. Nice. Nice. Yes, sir. I like how their tail looks. Ah, they're beautiful fish. Hey, that's okay. Come on up here. That almost looks like the litter mate than what I caught a while ago. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fish. Many fish. Yeah, yeah. fish. Beautiful. Yeah. You got him? Mm -hmm. Too bad we're not fishing the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Pretty fish. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Yeah. All right, see. You know that hook wasn't even really in it. It was just sitting in there. It was sitting. It was sitting in there just like that, and I guess his mouth closed around it or something. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Now there's gotta be more where that would came from. Stay tuned when we come back, more red fishing from Charleston, South Carolina. With the addition of the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado is now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing, or trucks with best-in-class camera technology, or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. Proof that the only truck that can compare to a Chevy Silverado is another Silverado. Chevrolet, find new roads. Avoiding propeller strikes. Many propeller strike injuries can be avoided by turning off the engine when passengers are boarding or disembarking. Never start a boat with the engine in gear. Make sure all passengers are properly seated before you get underway. Football? Nah. Baseball? Did it. Motocross? Got hurt. I choose to fish. And fish. And fish. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern-inspired meals in the PD, and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. Always use binoculars to identify game of movement in the woods. Never use a rifle scope for that purpose. Remember, you're pointing a loaded firearm at a moving object, and that moving object could be another hunter in the same area. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste by the old 96th District of South Carolina. Come discover the unexpected wonders by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. Oh, listen, he, he got a little weight to him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, there ain't much horse in that feller. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Shake that head. Mm. I'd say shake that booty too, but that may be problematic. Mm. You know, it's a great day to be on the water, Mark, huh? It is. is it not? It is. Especially in Charleston, of all places. Oh, where art thou? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, it's a good thing we got Berkeley Braid on this morning. Ooh. Mm. Come on. 
We'll see if this fish is as ugly as this ugly stick. <laughs> mm. All right, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, oh don't do that. <laughs> Come on, that's all right, it's all right. Come on, man. We're just gonna take your picture and we're gonna let you go. I promise. I promise. Me and Mark wouldn't have it any other way. Hmm. You know, I have to ask you. I know you love the big boat. You love the teaser. You love going offshore, okay? But do you like this now? Oh yeah, man. I love okay. That. All right. <laughs> I'm just glad to see that you're still in the fishing business. That's what really is good. Yeah. Good thing for me. You just can't get it out of your blood, oh, can you? Exactly. You know? Mm. Oh, come on now. Come on. I, we're just going to take your picture. Ah. Weather's starting to clear. The bite's picked up. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. You, know how many, you know how many years it's been since we've been out of Charleston? I guess, a, well, the last time was uh, we went with you on the teaser. Hey, Bob, you got, a, you got company down here. With oh, we got the Lizard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at him. <laughs> That's a good luck charm. Yeah. Uh, let's see, make sure we keep this thing out of this prop. Come on now. Oh my goodness. I, this one's got, he's got some big shoulders. Here he comes. Yeah, he is. Uh, 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 uh. Get a load of that one, folks. Woo, man. Nice red. Yes, it is a nice red. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let me back up a bit. Ah, you got him. There you go. Oh, my work is done. Nice fish. Yeah, is that a mm. good looking fish, my friend? Good looking fish. Wow. Mm. You got him. You know, I'll tell you, what do you think he'll go? Pound what? What's it say? I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> what you need? D hooker? Uh, let's see. Here, I got this. Got yep, I got this. Goodness, goodness, goodness. And we're taking great care. And we'll get this fish back in the water here shortly. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Whack it. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, he swallowed Oh, that. yeah. I gotcha. Oh my goodness. Oh. Beautiful fish. Yeah, goodness. Yeah, I hear you drumming. I hear you drumming. Oh yeah. You did good, man. Ha! We'll let this one go. All right, here we go. He's back in. Oh yeah, okay. Coming up next, we head to the Florence City Market for a South Carolina certified shrimp recipe. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. The fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, Ideas remain ideas, but with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world.
With the addition of the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado is now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing or trucks with best-in-class camera technology or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. Proof that the only truck that can compare to a Chevy Silverado is another Silverado. Chevrolet. Find new roads. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well, here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Joining me today at the City Center Market in Florence, South Carolina, are co-owners of Salsa Ye Limon. I've got on my far left over there, Charlie Cuevas, and then right here is Israel Morales. And these two guys have got a recipe that we've never done on the show. And I tell you what, I'm going to... Well, I'm just going to let you guys talk, okay? Thanks for being guests on here. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for having me. I tell all the folks out there what you got whipped up for them today. Well, what we're going to prepare today is uh, shrimp ceviche. And uh, what you do first is you cook the shrimp. Okay. Um, you, you, well, you clean it, then you cook the shrimp. Right. And then you basically just mix all the ingredients. We have tomatoes, onions, cilantro, jalapenos, salt, and lime juice. Well, now I have to ask you guys, okay, your co-owners here, uh, you've got a great Mexican restaurant here in Florence. I mean, is this one of the mainstays for the restaurant? What do you think, Charlie? It's a flavor recipe, especially in this season, because it's so hot. This play is really cold play, and it's really... Tasty when you try it with all you mix and all the flavors in it, it's really good. Okay, yeah. well, I'm excited. Let's, let's start. All right. all right, what do we do first? We're going to throw the shrimp. Okay. And we boiled the shrimp. We yeah. cut them up. Okay. So. And, folks, you want a copy of Charlie's and Israel's recipe? It'll be on bobredfern.com on the sportsman's table. Okay. We chopped the cilantro. Cilantro, yeah. We got some tomatoes already chopped up. Oh, well, those are certified South Carolina right there. Yes, huh? sir. Oh, wow. Local is always better. Onions. Show the onions. All right. We got the lime juice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, you guys, this is a mainstay on the menu at the restaurant? Yes, sir. Okay. All yes, right. sir. We have it every, every day. Now, I know there's one thing about um, Salsa Ye Limon is everything is made there on site. It is. Yes. Sir. yes. Oh, wow. Now, when you mix it all, you add a little bit of the salt, but... Right. Just to give you the flavor in it. Oh, man. Uh, Charlie, I have to ask you, whose recipe idea was this? Was this, uh, Israel, was this yours or Charlie's? I, mean, I think it's both of us. Okay. Uh, yeah, we both love this plate, and uh, it's fresh, it's healthy, it's delicious, and oh, simple wow. to make. Look it's at really that. It's easy to make. And, and uh, it like is. Say, it's, it's, in this season, is the best. This is really cold, and uh, the strain. Give amazing flavor with the lime juice and the salad and the jalapeno in it. It's really beautiful. Now, what? Well, well, we'll a little bit of salt, salt to taste. Salt. Okay. I like a lot of salt, but, you know, you just salt whatever you <laughs> like. You with the jalapeno. I got yes. you. And then. Okay, well, grab the plate, Israel. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, man. Look at that. And you know you can smell the lime juice and the onions. It's, yeah, it's yeah. just all those fresh ingredients are so good, especially in the summer. Yeah. And then you know if you make it at your house, you don't have to cook for a long time, and your kitchen doesn't get so hot and stuff. Well, I have so. to ask you guys, how much of this do you go through in a day's time? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we do fix a lot, especially in this time of the year. Uh, <laughs> fresh tortilla chips. Yes, okay. we have fresh tortilla That's chips, and uh, you can also add some avocado if you like avocado. And you can make, uh, you can use uh, chips or uh, salting crackers. Oh, wow. Either way you like. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at Charlie's. A, he's an old pro, huh? She's a, uh, he's a pro. You. Look at that. Ooh, wow. Uh. Right on top. 
Guys, thank you so much again for being a guest on the show. And, you know, salsa y limon. I'm telling you guys, downtown Florence right there. And, folks, if you'd like to experience more great food, stop in right down at Salsa Y Limon. And these two guys, I'm telling you, ceviche, if you've never had it, is absolutely delicious. And remember, log on to certifiedscgrown.com and check out and see what's fresh on the menu. And we'll be right back with another great recipe this week. Stay tuned, won't you? To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well. Here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose Certified SC Grown. It's a matter of taste. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. With the addition of the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado is now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing or trucks with best-in-class camera technology or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. Proof that the only truck that can compare to a Chevy Silverado is another Silverado. Chevrolet. Find new roads. Bob Red Fern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia. Abu Garcia. Fish to win. By Southern Woods Plantation. Offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. That's the bite we've been waiting on. There you go, that's a good one. You know what the difference was? What's when that? I pulled in that minnow and you split it, that got him to strike. It's all about holding your mouth right there. <laughs> Come on. Come on, get up here. Come on. Well, folks, listen, we have enjoyed our day with Captain Mark Brown in Charleston out of Shem Creek. Red fishing today. It has been an awesome, awesome day. It always is when you're with, with Captain Mark. Come on now, we're just gonna take your picture. Come on up, come on up. Come on up. Pretty fish, he pretty fish. He is a pretty fish, look at him. Oh man, he's, he's got dots for the ages. Mm. Nice dots. Nice dots. Come over here, boy. All right, all right. Pretty fish. You want to reach in and get him Yes, off? sir. I will. Grab the line just pulled his head right on out of there. All right. Hold on. And we're going to just hang on right there. Oh, man, I know you let me have the bait back. Oh, you got another one, Bob. Get it. Here, Bob. Get it. I'll, I'll get this one. Here, take this one. Get Bob, it. Bob, I can't. I, you you oh. grab this one. There's another fish right there. Okay, I got you. <laughs> ah! 
Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Put the hook out of that one. Get the hook out of my net, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, he he rolled a little bit. Yeah. But you know, Mark, tell folks now. Again, you're going to be on Bob's Top 16, folks. We'll have Mark listed up there. But tell everybody how they can get a hold of you an email and your phone number, because I tell you, they got to come down to Charleston and fish with the great Captain Mark Brown. They can get me with the phone numbers at 843-568-5966. And the email is captainmarkbrown at gmail, 101gmail.com. Folks, don't worry if you didn't catch that. We'll have it up for you. Oh, my goodness. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, this one here has two liters in its mouth. Oh, gosh. This Some, fish here has been hooked before. He's been hooked before, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, he has. Look at that. Pretty fish, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm. Well, this one here has got some shoulders to him. Oh, 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 oh. Man, I am glad you got another one on. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, all right. Yeah, you know. That's another thing I like about fishing in the fall too, you know, is when the it's a little bit cooler. Oh yeah. You know. That really helps a lot. Alright, come on. Here now I'm starting to see. Oh, look at that nice one. Nice fish. Ooh, look at that rig. Nice oh, fish, Bob. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, get over here. Yeah, we're just gonna take your picture. I promise. I promise. Oh, there he went. Got ah, off. He did. Oh well. I got him back. <laughs> what? Are you there? tricking me, Bob? What are you? What are you... Uh, I was just kidding, really. Okay. All right. I know that's when the guy was, starts to have heart attack. I know, well, I was putting the net away. I uh, was like, oh, 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 Oh yeah. Pretty fish though. Pretty huh? fish. Wow. That's pretty that fish is. All right, Mark, let's put him back in there. Ooh, great fish. Folks, nice. I tell you what, red fishing, Mark Brown, Charleston, Shim Creek. Beautiful. Ready to put him back? Yeah, man. All right, man. Here, let me let him go. There you go. Woo! Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there he goes. Well folks, listen, I tell you what. If one thing hasn't happened today, I got a great workout on the water. It's just been great being back out here in Charleston, Shim Creek, South Carolina. My good friend, Mark Brown, and I tell you what, as we always like to say, my friend, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Boo. Boom! Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you, Mark.